Hey guys, welcome to Wicked Manny. Today I'm going to review some nail polishes that I found at Five Below. If you've never heard of Five Below, it is a store in the States where everything is below $5, hence the name. So I was there a couple weeks ago and I discovered that they sell nail polish. So obviously I had to get some. Now, um, I'm going to review them and you can see what I think. They're very inexpensive. So let's see. So the first color that we have here is a iridescent multi-chrome shimmer situation. The name of this one is 11. Um, it looks like it has a lot of potential in the bottle. I will say that it's very, very striking inside of the bottle, but you can see it's very thin. And to me, it looks very much like a topper, not a nail polish that you would use on its own. I can't even imagine how many coats you would need of this to make it opaque on your actual nail. So next we have another multi-chrome iridescent situation. This one reminds me of something you'd usually see in like a mermaidy type collection, or like a unicorn collection. This one is called the Upside Down. Um, it's like pink with a little bit of like a bluish greenish shimmer. Again, this looks really, really pretty in the bottle. So this one does look much thicker than the other one did more like a regular polish than say a topper. At least I would still say this is on the thinner side for me or what I would like personally, but considering that this is a very inexpensive brand from a very inexpensive store, it looks okay. Next we have a bluish, greenish iridescent situation again um which is called stranger things so obviously this is a stranger things collection if 11 and the upside down didn't make that clear so again this is pretty uh very mermaidy in general it doesn't necessarily remind me of stranger things none of them do but it's pretty for what it is. I would say the consistency on this one is very similar to the pink shade versus the 11 shade that's more of a topper in my opinion. Okay, so while these other ones were Fresh Paint brand, now we're going to do Funky Fingers brand. Now, if you want to know how much these cost, they were three for five, which is very inexpensive as far as nail polish goes. So this Funky Fingers blue is called Moonstone and it looks a little similar to the Stranger Things color but it's definitely more of a blue. Again it's iridescent with sort of green and pink tones to it um, but it, it's definitely more blue overall than Stranger Things was. This one looks to be the same kind of consistency which makes me wonder if the same company makes them. I don't know. And then this last shade is called Supernova, also a Funky Fingers brand. This nail polish, if you ask me, is made of my nightmares because it's it's just ugh, it's glitter, like just so much glitter. And I cannot even imagine how difficult this would be to get off of my nails. So it will not be going on my nails. Um, if you'd like me to give it away and you could win it, comment below. Maybe I will, because I don't know what I will ever use this for. Okay, so I'm going to swatch these on a color wheel, because I don't want this chunky glitter to ever touch my fingers. So I'm going to start with the Stranger Things shade from the Fresh Paint brand. In case you're wondering, these are all manufactured in the USA. They do not say what the ingredients are, so I'm going to say that they're not five free or 10 free or seven free or any of those things. So I have to say these apply better than I thought they would. I am using a rather thick coat, but using a thicker coat, I think these would probably go on in two coats. And I don't know how they would wear unless you wore a very, very good top coat. Now, for 11, 
the one that I'm calling a topper. As you can see, or as you can't see, it's really nothing once it's on there. It's just a little bit of a shimmer. Um, yeah, it's, it's like there's nothing there. The Funky Fingers Moonstone is definitely more sheer than the other two. It looked similar in the bottle. I wasn't expecting it to be more sheer than these others. I would say this one's going to have to be like a three, maybe four coater for it to look like it does on the bottle on your nail. Oh, okay, this Supernova one um, applies about like I thought it was going to. Oh God, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I, why did I buy this? I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just see nail polish and I have to buy it. Um, all right. Sponge technique does not help it any. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's a, that's going to be a no from me. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to try this awful glitter one on top of rose gold to see if that makes it look any better. And nope, no, it doesn't at all. But I'm going to try these other ones over black to see if that helps. The chunky glitter one turns the black a greenish gold color. So I guess that's good to know if you want this for some reason. The next one I am doing is the... Funky Fingers Moonstone, and that makes the black look like a beetle. So that's interesting. Um, I expected it to be a little more blue than that, but it definitely just turns green. The Fresh Paint 11 actually looks pretty good on top of black. I think this would look really good on top of black or dark purple or maybe a dark blue. I think that's probably what this polish is best suited for. Um, it's, it's not going to ever look like it does in the bottle on your nail unless you have another color beneath it. The pink does really strange things to the black. It's kind of like a, like a steel, like a gunmetal gray. It looks cool. I, I just didn't expect it to look like that. And then the Stranger Things blue gives us another beetle green color. So yeah. All right, that's it for coat one. So I'm going to try putting a second coat on these swatches that are not over black polish to see if that helps any. The Stranger Things doesn't look any different to me once you add the second coat. So I guess that's a good thing for this polish. Maybe it would be a one coater. I don't know. I guess it would depend on your nails. 11 really doesn't look any better at all when there's two coats. It looks exactly the same. And the Moonstone does look better with two coats, in my opinion. So I would say to definitely do two or three coats on that one. So yeah. All right, guys, that's it for these. Um, I guess for me, I would say they look good for a polish that you're paying three for five for. They're not something I would go out of my way to get again, but if you're looking for inexpensive polishes that are iridescent in nature, that have a little bit of a multi-chrome effect for them, I think that these are a good starting point. Um, if you don't want to purchase a lot of the indie brands online, uh, I definitely like the fresh paint ones more than I do the funky fingers. I think that they have more pigment in them and they look nicer. For wearability, I don't know. If you buy them, let me know in the comments below how they wear for you and if you like them. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like up this video and comment below. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.